raise your hand if you guys, if you're not here. We're gonna walk around the oldest city in America and look for ghosts. This is a little iPhone app I have. It's called Ghost Radar. It's the classic version. There's three different versions. I can't tell them apart, whatever. What it does is it supposedly senses different spectral activity. Spectral activity. And then it converts that energy into words based on the algorithm. So we off and running. The ghost meter continued to just throw out words at us. I mean, sometimes there were so many words and so many blips for ghosts, we couldn't quite follow. But there was a constant theme of names, and the word lynch was used a lot of times, uh, multiple times. It was the only consistent word other than repeated names that we actually saw. Really, really creepy place at night, and it was literally the first few hours of the 4th of July. We thought it'd be great to actually come hang out. I'm making cookies. Yeah, it looks like, uh, something. yeah, the fudge. Yeah. Smells good, doesn't it, girl? She wasn't having it. If she couldn't have cookies. I don't want to watch it. Why, <laughs> Why torture me like that? Then there would be no watching people make cookies. The one thing that really stuck out other than the word lynch that just continued to show up is we were walking down on the way back to the car and the word cat showed up on her ghost meter there's a cat there's a cat yeah, and a cat. she saw a cat here was a cat i don't see the cat now it was probably another cat it was probably that ghost you just saw the thing is we chased that cat we never could catch up with it it showed up the whole time on the ghost meter and all the footage we took chasing the cat was corrupted all of it so think what you will but there are definitely ghosts in st augustine florida